Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to Valentine's Day 2017. All of my viewers know that on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted, Valentine's Day is one of the most special times of year. It's the time when I can take to honor those Valentines in my life. Well, now here we are again on Valentine's Day. Every year I've made the offer of a dozen roses and a box of candy to our profiled wanted person who turns himself in. Normally I'll even give it to the person who sends us that anonymous tip. Every February the 14th, I've sat in my office for hours, waiting for someone to take me up on the offer. Sometimes I get a tip, but sometimes not even a phone call. But I'm not about to quit. So here's my first offer. Nothing says Happy Valentine's Day like failing to appear for court in a divorce proceeding. Shannon Lee Bordley of Chester, you have an active body attachment since you failed to appear in the circuit court as directed. The judge would love to see you about your non-support case. For the people who don't know, Shannon Bordley is 48 years old, six foot, 210 pounds, and has worked as a concrete finisher. Shannon, please take the time to come on in and see me on Valentine's Day. I'll give you the flowers and the candy so you can give that to your child's mother. Save the cash and pay your child support. Love hurts. There's an old saying out there that love hurts, and it may be true. These persons are wanted on warrants related to assaults. Back in June of 2014, during an argument, Tommy Dwayne DeWeiss, an ex-boyfriend of the victim, threw a jug of gas on the victim's car as she attempted to flee the location. DeWeiss then flicked a lit cigarette at the car. The investigation showed that the odor of gasoline was on the hood and windows of the car. Evidence at the Perry's Corner Road location included a gas jug, a small, strong odor of gas, and a cigarette butt. After the incident, McDice fled the state as we learned he had been incarcerated for an unrelated charge in the state of Indiana. Extradition was only approved for surrounding states of Maryland, so no detainer was filed in this case. In January, we received information from the Vine, the victim information and notification every day, that McDice had been released from the Tippecanoe County Jail in Lafayette, Indiana. McDice is 34 years old, African-American male, six foot one inches tall, 185 pounds, with a discolored right cheek and a tattoo on his right arm. McDice has a caution code for resisting arrest and his current location is still unknown. We're looking to all of you out there to send us that anonymous Valentine's Day tip. And if you want the flowers and the candy, just let me know where he's at. Amanda Lynn Strayed failed to appear in court in Queen Anne's County on a circuit court charge back in May of 2016 on an assault, theft, and controlled dangerous substance charge. Strait is turning 30 in April, is listed as 5 foot 6 inches tall, 110 pounds, and usually has blonde hair. She's added a new tattoo, a row of stars under her left ear curving downward. The warrant has a home address in Stevensville, but once before she was arrested, she was attempting to get on a bus to go south and stay with relatives or a close friend. So that's a possibility. Not that I advocate this, but there's a recent country song titled Drunk On Your Love. Drunk on your love, love. Maybe that's the reason these Valentines were caught on DWI charges. Michael Clay Shumate of Bear, Delaware is wanted for a violation of probation on his 2015 driving while intoxicated charge. Shumate is 42 with gray hair and brown eyes. He's listed as five foot four inches tall and 160 pounds. Back in 2009, Jose Luis Lopez failed to appear on a DWI charge as well. Lopez is listed as six foot, one inches tall, 170 pounds. Anne Arundel County attempted to serve the warrant, but advised he had left with no forwarding address. This is one person we want to get their Valentine's Day letter. Samuel Robertson Leonard, 37, whose last known address was on Tunis Mills Road outside of Easton. Leonard is six foot one inches tall, 160 pounds, and has a tribal tattoo on his right arm. He's likely working somewhere in the seafood business. Before we take and close out this year's Valentine's Day Most Wanted, I've often been asked 
What happens to the candy and the flowers if no one turns themselves in? The answer is, I take them to my number one fan, my 99-year-old grandmother, me mom, over in Annapolis. However, I would prefer to buy her flowers and give those roses and those chocolates to one of our tipsters on this Valentine's Day. Have a happy Valentine's Day from the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff, the staff at QAC-TV, the Queen Anne's County Commissioners, but most importantly, you the viewers of our Most Wanted show. Without your tips, Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted would not be a success.